dear ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests. Thank you for allowing me to be your host this evening and an extra special thank you to the Barons of her unconditional devotion to Iraq. The Barons' commitment and dedication to the people of Iraq in such a selfless way is a true miracle of modern times. May we all raise our glasses for a toast to Baroness Nicholson of Winterborn. Tonight we have many people and companies present who are also devoted to the rebuilding of Iraq and making a better place for the sake of its people and global stability. Companies like ones here present today play and present today play an important role in the development of a country. <clears throat> of course, we are mostly all commercial businesses looking after our stakeholders' interests, but I am also sure the people on the ground here tonight elected to be part of their company's efforts for more reasons than commercial profit and understand that business development is essential to improving the life of millions in Iraq. <clears throat> Al Burhan Group has enjoyed much success in bringing successful enterprises into Iraq, namely great companies here today, such as Serco and G4S, plus assisting many others in leaving a positive footprint on the soil of my country. Being ethical and honorable in our efforts is integral to our success in Iraq, as the country is scarred by decades of mistrust and suspicion. Understand the Iraqi mindset <coughs> could be a PhD subject at Oxford. <laughs> and, <laughs> so you can ask uh, Peter Morning, I think, and uh, uh, the G4S, they understand the Iraqi mindset very well. <laughs> Navigating Iraqi politics and government departments will in time get easier as companies such as yours will help of our great and with the help of our great friend Baroness Nicholson educate the country in the correct and efficient way of running departments. I am sure the companies that put up and support Iraq at this delicate and difficult time will be rewarded by a permanent foothold in Iraq for generations to come. Thank you all for your efforts and support. Al Burhan Group here is to assist navigating business in Iraq as our slogan is your route to Iraq. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Colleagues, it's too much to expect a politician with a microphone and an audience sitting down not to say something. And my first and most pleasant duty is to thank the Alpohans very, very warmly indeed for their kindness and hospitality in these absolutely magnificent surroundings. What a fantastic place, how absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so happy to be here. <coughs> Colleagues, I ask you to toast the Bahans. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank, you. thank the whole family. And thank everyone who works with all your companies. You've been absolutely fantastic for Iraq and for the rest of the world. <coughs> we in IBBC, we feel that 2018 is going to be a very, very important year, particularly for Iraq. I um, have said earlier today that the cleansing of KRG and Mosul of Daesh is a huge task and it's not just a task for Iraq I would suggest it's a task also for Syria but it's <coughs> a task we've also carried out for much of the rest of the globe. We in the United Kingdom and certainly France and Germany and the USA and other nations have suffered mightily from Daesh outreach from the jihadists whatever they call themselves they come from the same fountain of evil 
and you've had it right up in your faces here on a daily basis for more than two and a half years now. You have the strength and courage and determination to coordinate and fight back is really quite something and it shows the terrific Iraq spirit. Iraq is a cohesive country. All the Iraqis I know are very proud to be Iraqis. They don't want to be split up in little bits and shared around in the region. They want to stay together. Of course, I know that Iraqi Kurdistan has a very special feeling for its own uniqueness. I feel exactly the same when I visit Scotland, the country of my mother, for example. <coughs> Each of us has a regional identity. And indeed, Europe is Europe of the regions, not Europe of the nation states. But at the end of the day, everyone I know in Iraq believes that Iraq is far more important as a whole than split up in little bits and pieces and shared around and despoiled by everybody. And while all of this has been going on, business and industry has had to carry the burden. War is very expensive, disunity is very expensive. 3.9 million people out of their homes costs an absolute fortune. And however much people like the British government and the European Union and the World Bank and everyone else give, it just simply isn't nearly enough. Far, far too much disruption has occurred for anybody else to be able to bind it together other than you Iraqi yourselves. And personally, I have always believed that free trade and private investment, coordination with government, and actually helping people work for themselves is the crucial way to bring peace. Nothing brings peace more than having people gainfully occupied, <coughs> making a profit, producing goods they're proud of, and then being able to increase their trade. And you've managed all of this work here during this incredibly difficult time. I really congratulate you more on that than almost on anything else. Of all the difficulties, you've been able to keep this whole thing working. I know nothing about the mindset of G4S. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I look forward to discovering it over this dinner. And maybe if they're worthwhile, we might encourage them we will. Maybe we will. to get a little bit closer in some other ways. On behalf of Chris Rock, Managing Director of IBBC, on behalf of um, Razmi, Board Member of IBBC, uh, Chairman in Absentia, because nobody can move from Beirut because of the airport here at the moment, Mr. Chachachki, all of us wish you well from IBBC, and as the Trade Envoy for Iraq, I really honour you. Thank you all Thank so you. much. Thank you, Bernice.